IRS Internal Revenue Service Tax News dated November 2019, Taxpayers Should Watch Out for Gift Card Scam. But first, at our website at accountinginstruction.info, we have many classes related to taxation, including a class that will allow you to create an Excel worksheet, an Excel work worksheet where you can enter adjusting entries as well as tax entries. Huge benefit if you're going to be doing taxes for a business type entity. We have a general tax course as well as more specific tax courses. These courses include much more than just instructional videos. Any course purchased on this website does support all the content that we create. Consider purchasing a course here. Support the channel. Support the content that we are making at accountinginstruction.info. That's accountinginstruction.info. Taxpayers should always be on the lookout for scams. Thieves want to trick people in order to steal their personal information, scam them out of money, or talk them into engaging in questionable behavior with their taxes. Scam attempts can peak during tax season, but taxpayers need to remain vigilant all year. Gift card scams are on the rise. In fact, there are many reports of taxpayers being asked to pay a fake tax bill through the purchase of gift cards. Here's how one scenario usually happens. Someone posing as an IRS agent calls the taxpayer and informs them their identity has been stolen. The fake agent says the taxpayer's identity was used to make fake bank accounts. The caller tells the taxpayer to buy gift cards from the various stores and await further instructions. The scammer then contacts the, contacts the taxpayer again, tell, telling them to provide gift cards access numbers. Here's how people can know if it is really the IRS calling. The IRS does not call to demand immediate payment using a specific payment method such as a prepaid debit card, gift card, or wire transfer. Generally, the IRS will first mail a bill to any taxpayer who owes taxes. The IRS does not demand that taxpayers pay taxes without the opportunity to question or appeal the amount they owe. All taxpayers should be aware of their rights. There's a link to their rights here. The IRS does not threaten to bring a local police, immigration officers, or other law enforcement to have the taxpayer arrested for not paying, and the IRS does not revoke the taxpayer's driver's license, business license, or immigration status. People who believe they've been targeted by a scammer should contact the Treasury Inspector General for Tax Administration to report a phone scam. Use the IRS Impersonation Scam Reporting webpage. There's a link to that here. They can also call 1-800-366-4484, 800-366-4484. Next bullet point, report foreign phone scams to the Federal Trade Commission. Use the FTC uh, Complaint Assistant. There's a link to that here on ftc.gov. That's a website, ftc.gov. They should add IRS telephone scam in the notes. Next bullet point, report an unsolicited email claiming to be from the IRS or an IRS-related component like the Electronic Federal Tax Payment System to the IRS at phishing at irs.gov. So that email address is here. That's phishing, P-H-I-S-H-I-N-G at irs.gov. The sender can add IRS phone scam to the subject line. More information can be found below. There's links to that information. There'll be linked to the site in the description.